Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy II. Last time, Sid died, and he left us with his airship here back at Poth, so I've come to commandeer it. We're going to need it to get to, to reach Paramekia Castle and go after Leon, so it's a little late in the game to finally give us an airship, but whatever, it works. I mean, it's, it's better than, like, first thing, but, you know, we'll worry about that later. <laughs> But anyway, uh, one preparation I decided to make was uh, to leave Furion and Maria in the back row permanently. Um, at this point, they've really got enough HP for the rest of the game, really. I mean, 1,000 HP is more than enough to survive just about any spell cast on them in the back row. Um, this will allow them also to cast their spells without being hindered by their equipment, because I can just leave it removed all the time for the most part. Although there are going to be some situations where I really want to cast a spell as quickly as possible, so I'll want to switch my shield and weapon on to increase my evade, so I can cast the spell quicker. So, that's still going to be pretty useful. So, with that, let's get on our airship and head to Paramekia. So we got to head down here. That's a slow airship. So, I just finished my uh, final test run for Let's Play Final Fantasy III yesterday. Uh, we're not too far from the end of this game now, so as soon as I'm done with this game, I'll move on to Final Fantasy III. Um, it's all ready to go. I, I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. Uh, I've got a lot of great ideas for clips for that one. It's a much sillier game than this one, so uh, I think I'm going to have a lot of fun making that one. So, Okay, now there's the arena. There's Paramekia, but we can't get inside. I think i got to land here. No, up here. There we go. Okay, so we're inside Paramekia, the top floor. So, can't be too far from the throne room, so let's find Leon. Huh, this is a strange little isolated hallway. This can't possibly be the throne room. This is an empty room. Well, what the hell? Did I enter in the wrong spot of the castle? Whoa. Uh Oh, no. Oh, great. We fell all the way to the first floor of the castle. Now we have to walk all the way back up. You didn't think they were just going to let us get to the throne room in two minutes, did you? I mean, <laughs> come on. Okay, well, there's a lot of treasure here, some good stuff, so let's get it on our way up. And this chest contains the diamond plate. Not to be con confused with the diamond armor. Uh, in the game, they both show the same armor icon and then diamond after it. So you can't tell the difference between the two, but there's actually two different kinds of diamond armor in the game. This one is the diamond plate, which is a lighter, the lighter version of the same armor. Same uh, defense, except the armor protects you against uh, thunder elemental attacks, whereas this one does not. But I'm not... Um, going to use it anyway. I mean, yeah, it's a little stronger than the black armor, but I still like the black armor better with its agility boosting there. So, with that, let's um, backtrack a little bit. Oh, that room down there is empty, so I'm just going to circle around then. This path leads to a dead end, so just keep going. See, I think there's a chest below. Yeah, or no, I want to go here first. Just a lone chest here. Might as well get that first. Does this one have monsters? No, it just contains an egg timer that I don't need. Okay, let's get out of here. And let's just continue down here. And here's another new enemy, uh, Steel Golem. Those guys are real mean. They're immune to uh, matter elemental spells, and uh, they have very high physical defense. So the only way you're going to beat these guys is with a uh, high-powered Berserk spell. Yeah, that's no good. You, you can't even... Uh, inflict curse on them with the ancient sword, so don't even bother. Yeah, they've got a super high magic defense, so. Okay, uh, yeah, guy needs to get cured, I guess, and we'll stack another berserk, why not? And let's keep going. 
Wow, that's not really helping out that much. Well, good thing my magic defense is pretty high. It can't paralyze me there. And yeah, maybe I should have cast Berserk on a single person first. Whatever. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I don't know. Practice change. Whatever. Can't do anything in the back row there, so... Okay, well, let's try doing it on one person this time if that didn't work. There we go. That's a little better. Yeah, I should have cast it on one person. I probably could have killed him by now. Oh, well. Um, practice something else while you're at it. We should be able to get him this round. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I should have cast Berserk on him to begin with. Oh, well. <laughs> but, yeah, that's how you beat him uh, without, like, Flare or Holy, things like that. Pretty easy. Why bother getting those spells? Pass that up. And get garlic that is utterly useless now. So, now we want to take those stairs I just passed up to the next floor. And here's another new enemy, Shade. Um, I didn't think we were supposed to meet up with them until later in the game. Huh. Well, here we are. Uh, I don't think he's undead or immune, but I could be wrong. Eh, I won't take my chances. I'll just have him cast life. Her cast toad, that way I've got all my bases covered. Oh yeah, yeah, he's immune to matter elemental spells, but fortunately he is undead, so that takes care of it. He has like 3000 HP, he's pretty tough there. Oh wow, I got a heal. Okay, so there are enemies that can actually inflict curse on me. Who knew? Oh well, not too worried about it. Oh great, which way am I supposed to go now? Uh, down. That was just a battle with another new enemy, Skull. Um, just a standard undead enemy, nothing special about him. So, And we get the knife. Okay. And there's another chest. It contains a buckler... Uh, Man, how did these guys beat us? I mean, both of our castles have, like, cloths and bucklers and knives and, like, first-grade equ equipment. I mean, come on. Uh, pretty straightforward path from here. No hidden walls to worry about. There we are. Okay, now from here, uh, there's a chest to the left, and the stairs are to the right, so I'm going to obviously get the chest first, so. Okay, and this chest contains the Bolt Spear, which I'm going to give to Firion, but there's some monsters inside, so if they're nothing new, I'll just be right back. Okay, that was just a battle with uh, another shade. Uh, sorry, I don't have every single chest memorized like I did with Final Fantasy IV, but... Okay. Um, but yeah, the Bolt Spear, I think you can use it as an item in... I was going to say that you can use the Blood Spear in battle to cast... Uh, oh, what's that spell? Uh, bolt 16. But, um, yeah, it breaks if you do that, and it's not very uh, effective. I mean, you might as well be casting Bolt 4 because it's multi-targeted. So, yeah, I'm, I really don't care about that. We've got Maria's Magic Cane anyway, or... No, I don't anymore. I got rid of it, yeah. Because, really, there's no enemies that are weak to lightning anymore that I really care about, so... Okay, well, let's be continue backtracking a little bit. And to the right this time. Okay, that was just a battle with some generals, but I ambushed them, so... I didn't really want to demonstrate them there, so... Whatever. Almost there. Okay, well, this looks like a good place to stop, so that's all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy II! Next time, I will continue through the large Paramecia Castle in order to find Leon and save the world! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!